Hi everyone, I'm Salman Riaz from Era24 UK and in today's video I'm going to tell you what six softwares you do not to use on your PC. It's either Windows or Mac but don't use these softwares on your system because they are not in profit that give you some kind of performance or as they promise instead of they are slowing down your system and th that is the cause that you see your system is slow either way are you using windows 10 windows 11 or the old version windows 8.1 or 8 it doesn't make any difference the same thing with the mac drives whatever you are using i mean that's not the reason so i'm going to talk about the first software you don't have to use which is onedrive because it comes with your windows or with your another os systems like mac but don't use it because it takes a lot of um, power of or perform or resources and then it affects on the performance why because it also registers uh, so many files which is unnecessary in your um, registry so that's why your system is slow as i can show you here some of the things that if you don't have these softwares installed then your system is performance or perform very well without any problem as you can see the cpu is nice condition and you can see it's not using a lot of resources the same thing next next software i'm going to talk about you don't have to use any kind of antivirus program such as northern antivirus program because they don't give you anything they also slow down your system and then it affects your performance memory and hard drive resources so if you want to save the resources this is the best not to use if you have installed uninstalled this software because not benefit of it and in 2025 i mean like you are using new updates of windows 10 and 11 you don't need it same thing for next software is mcafee mcafee as well when you buy a software or free download any kind of other softwares you get for free to use or check the performance and to get benefit of it but the same thing once you install your system is getting slower and then you will not be able to um, get the performance what you're looking for instead of you are just giving your system data or information to them the next software i'll be talking the vpns because we try to access some kind of websites torrent websites or any kind of netflix if you or your country doesn't allow or your country ip doesn't allow to go on that website to have um, watching movies access data software download so vpn we use for that so vpn is also not so helpful if you have installed uninstall it because you are exchanging your information to them and they are also getting from your browser all kind of information so it will be look like a data exchange um, so avoid it uninstall it before something bad happen now we are going to talk about the shopping browser extensions because once um, we have for example um, we are using edge and then we click on it looking for something any kind of product and you see for example we just go on amazon and once you go on amazon you will see a small pop-up or extension will be showing here because they are going to give you a discounted price or something but no need to use if there is any discount available 
you will find on Amazon straight away. The extensions are also taking your information and exchanging with the server, whatever server you will be using. So I was talking about this, this tag, as you can see, if I click on this tag, this tag is going to show me, oh, I can bring you some more um, discounts code, this and that. So better stay away with these kinds of extensions, not only on Edge browser, on any browser. Don't use them because you are exchanging your checkout information. The same thing if you will be using or you will be buying from through this extension, you are going to give your full information of your address, data, as well as some information of your credit card, what you're using and so on. So it's better to go on direct to their websites, try to find their own um, coupons or promo codes. So the next website we will be talking about pirated softwares or free softwares. So once you download free softwares or pirated softwares, they also increase your system registry um, size as well as they also slowing down your system and also you are exchanging your information to several other servers or several other companies because once you download the free version the free version comes with some other programs or other trial programs that you can install with the pirated program or with the free programs so you have seen you might have seen many times you try to download anything free software which is you want to use that software not the other softwares but you get also offers to install this program or that program so by mistake or if you don't read just click ok 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 so you are installing all of them and then you are in sending your all information to all of them so try to be um, be careful and do not install or if you have installed now nowadays the systems are very um, clever and modern so you go to control panel uninstall these kind of softwares clean the registry if you know otherwise get someone who knows about it and get help to clean the registry as well as if you don't know my other videos i have provided you how to uh, increase performance how to clean your system so you can get benefit of my other videos i think i have covered everything if you like this video um, thumbs up share the video with others and consider uh, subscribe my channel thank you very much have a great day bye